Hello fellow 3D enthusiast! My name is Ian, and I'd like to show you real quick how you can get this nice stylized result in Blender. So the effect uses the compositing nodes, and as you can see I've rendered out a nice black and white image here, and it's pretty simple actually. So I'm just going to walk you through real quick the process that I used to do that. But before I show you that, I'd like to tell you about this hydraulic kit bash elements pack that I made for you. It's for Blender, and it's completely free, and there's a link in the description. So first things first, real quick, if you haven't used the compositor before, make sure you've got use nodes checked here, and a viewer node on the end of your node string here. So you can get a viewer node, or any node, by hitting shift and A. And you can see the list of nodes you can drop in here. Or if you want, you can go up here to add, and there's the same list. So you can find a viewer node in shift A, and then output viewer. Or if you want to be even more efficient, you can go to preferences and enable the node wrangler add-on, which I already have enabled. And if you have that add-on enabled, you can just shift, control, click any node in the string, and it'll add in a node and view what you're looking at, which is super handy. All right, so now that the basics are out of the way, I'm just going to drop in a color ramp node here. So shift A and converter, color ramp. So color ramps are a really useful node that I use all the time for all sorts of different things. But as you can see here, you can just drag these little knobs and get all sorts of crazy contrast color looks. So the way to get some nice hard colors is to switch this from linear to constant and as you can see the color changes very quickly right after your little point here and you get something that looks a lot harsher and stylized so I'm gonna leave my white control up here and then add another one with the plus mark here and just turn that up to sort of a bluish color and I'm gonna move that over down here a bit and that way you can see quite a bit of the astronaut there. And then I'm going to add another marker, and I'm going to color this one yellow. And just scooch it over quite a bit. And then I'm also going to take the white value down a bit. And I'm just going to tweak this one a little bit more to make it sort of more orangish. And that's pretty much the effect done. So I'm going to actually switch over to this old one, and you can just see minor changes. I've got this one tweaked just the way I like it, so I'm going to use that one. So to get the rest of the effect, I'm going to add in a distort and then lens distortion node. And I'm just going to turn up this bottom value by 0.1. And you can see it sort of pops out a lot more, and it's a little more colorful. And don't forget to plug that into the composite node at the end. And that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something useful from this, and I'll catch you again in another video. Cheers!